Hey guys, welcome back to Simmer Down. Today I'm going to show you how I make my mackerel fritters. It is quick and easy to make. It is tasty, tasty, tasty and inexpensive. You can buy one can of mackerel for under $4 and feed the whole family. There are times when I'm coming home from work and I'm exhausted and I don't want to be over the stove cooking all day. This is the meal that I run to. You can eat this uh, for breakfast, you can have it for brunch, you can have it for dinner. Um, it's light, but it's also fulfilling. So you will not be disappointed. And I want you to know when you eat these fritters, you are not going to just eat one. You're not going to eat just two. You're going to have at least three. Okay. So you will not be disappointed. I promise you. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Simmer Down. Today I am going to make mackerel fritters. I have two cans of mackerel in here. I deboned the mackerel and um, now I'm just going to gently break it apart. I don't want it too mashed up. I just want it enough where it's like small chunks. Okay, some all-purpose seasoning by Maggie. I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit. Just eyeballing it. I would say about a half a tablespoon. And then I have some Maggie fish seasoning. I'm about to use a half a tablespoon as well. Now, I have some black pepper, a teaspoon of black pepper, and then this is uh, two tablespoons of garlic. But I'm going to just use one. This is about two tablespoons of thyme. But I'm going to just start off with about a tablespoon and a half. I'm not gonna put too much. All right. Now, I think I had said this already, but this is two cans of mackerel, chub mackerel. This is the can of mackerel that I'm using. All right. Sometimes they come with tomato sauce in it. You can use, I use either or. I'll just drain out a little bit of the tomato sauce. When I put the fish in here, I also drain the juice that came in the can drained some of it out, not all of it. So I would say it was probably about uh, just a little bit of uh, juice in there that I left. If I'm using one can, I would just use uh, a quarter cup. I have one large onion, a half of a medium green pepper, and a half of a medium red pepper, diced finely. I try my best to make sure that all the vegetables are finely diced because when it's time to make the, the fritters, the bigger the vegetables, it will be hard for the fritters to stay together. If you have the vegetables fine, finely chopped, it wouldn't, it's not hard to um, put the fritters together. This is one large tomato that I diced. Mix this all in. One cup of scallion. I know it seems like there's a lot of vegetables I'm putting in here, but it is going to give it flavor. It's going to give it a nice taste. 
and you're not going to feel so guilty because it's going to be a mixture of fish, vegetables with a little bit of flour and it's just going to taste really good together. Now I'm just going to put in four medium eggs. I'm using four medium eggs because I'm using two cans of mackerel. Normally I would use, um, when I do one can, I use two. You want to make sure that you have enough flour where it's kind of like easy to put together. You know, it can form a patty. But you don't want too much flour because if you have too much flour, then it takes away from the, the, the flavor, the taste. You know, it's going to taste more like cake than, than actual fish. So here I have a skillet with some oil in the, in the skillet, um, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I'm going to take a little bit of the mackerel. I'm going to try to scoop it up with a spoon, but at the same time, I'm trying to form a patty with the spoon, okay? And I'm going to slowly place it in the skillet and gently press down. Okay, I have the I don't know if I said that, said it or not, but I have the eye on medium heat. I don't want it to cook too fast because we do have eggs in here and we want to make sure that it's completely cooked thoroughly. I'm going to do the same thing. Try to form the batter. All right. Let me press down. All right, we'll do the same thing until this, the batter is gone. And I am going to use the spatula, the slotted spatula, to flip it. So when you flip it, you want to make sure that you go slow because you don't want it to break up on you. Give this one another two minutes and then I'll flip it as well. But you want your macro fritters to be brown, just like this, golden brown. When it's golden brown like that, it's really crispy on the outside. Okay, so that one is flipped. I'm going to give this some time to cook and then we'll flip those as well. Okay. I don't know if you can see this one, we have flipped over. This is the other side that was uncooked. It's now nice and golden brown. I'm going to take it out. So I put it on a tray to dry to drain all the oil out of the mackerel fritter. And I'm gonna do the same to all the rest of them that's being fried up. Okay, so I put another batch of mackerel in the skillet. So I'm gonna wait for the, the edges to turn brown just like the other, the very first batch and flip it as well. Stay tuned. So these are the finished product, my macro fritters um, that I fried up. All right. You can have it with salad. You can have it with any side that you, you like. You can just eat it 
just by itself with some hot sauce, ketchup. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today on Simmer Down. If you like this channel, please click the like button down below, subscribe, and also click the notification bell to notify you when I have a new video out. Until we meet again, enjoy your day and stay safe. Take care.